Hello, welcome to the match of the century. The Cleveland Bros versus the Bristol Bidoofs. Eric Ashenakai, who going into this match, I had nothing but, you know, good feelings and, and positive energy from. Uh, in the past, he's gen me mons. He's, you know, he's gone out of his way to help me. But looking at his team and looking at the time of this match, certain feelings came up as a result. Um, you know, nothing personal, of course, just, you know, Pokemon. Uh, his team, he brought physically defensive Forges. Choice Scarf Mew for some reason. Physically defensive Arcanine. Speedy Scizor. Physically defensive Alamomola. And physically defensive Grottle. Uh, my team, Choice Scarf Staraptor. Physically defensive with 12 Speedy Vs. Rotom. Uh, specially offensive Jirachi with an Expert Belt. Uh, Yachi Berry Donphan. Useless Adamant. Low Bunny and physically defensive Togetic with Fire Blast. Um, no, before my first draft of this team, I had Choice Banded Staraptor and I had Energy Ball on my Drachi. I had Sub Power Up Punch Low Bunny, but after talking to Trav, you know, D1 champ from last year, he said, hey, you didn't really prepare for his threats on his team that he is 100% bringing, like, you know, you would expect somebody to, to bring a Raikou or a Hydreigon, but no, he went bulky stall. So, you know, I, you know, I changed some things to, to what I have now. And, you know, I'm not going to say I regret it because if I did do it again, I would probably bring the same team because Hydreigon and Raikou. Um, but looking at this team, you know, he doesn't have anything that resists Staraptor, so I'm going to lead Staraptor. So Eric issuing a challenge, I lead Staraptor, uh, he leads Grottle. Now I could see a mile away, oh, he's going to switch on El Momola or the Arcanine, go for the U-turn, but I decided to go for the Brave Bird, not wanting to uh, predict too early and let him get up free rocks. Uh, and I wanted to see what kind of El Momola this was, and that is physically defensive with the Rocky Helmet. Had that been banded, uh, you know, I would have just fucked them up, turn one, fucked them up, turn two, and would have been in good shape. But, alas, I can't. So he goes for the wish, like, you know, Alamomola does. As I go into my Togetic, uh, he goes for the Protect, and I decide to uh, go for the Toxic. Uh, this turn here, he sees the Toxic, so I'm expecting him to switch out into the Scizor. So I decide um, to go for the Fire Blast, but no, he goes into Mew. And I'm thinking, what's this Mew going to do? I look at that damage, that doesn't look like a, like a defensive one. He goes for Bolt Switch, and that does pitiful damage because it's unstabbed Choice Scarf Mew. And I decide to go for the Toxic as he switches in to his Arcanine. Um, intimidate, of course, because why would a bulky Arcanine not run Intimidate? Um, and I Toxic this thing. Awesome. He's, I'm assuming, defensive for Mega Loop Bunny. Defensive for everything on my team. Um, so I have no fear of him to hit KOing me. So I decide to roost up here as he goes for Will-O-Wisp. Uh, no big deal. I roost. So at this point, you know, we're looking all right. But Staraptor has already taken a hefty damage. We've already seen it can't two hit KO the Elmomola, which means Megalopony can't two hit KO the Elmomola. And I no longer have Energy Ball on Jirachi to two hit KO the Elmomola. Um, and he goes for another Will O Wisp. I went for Heal, Heal Bell in good shape. This Arcanine really can't do anything to me. Uh, I have already revealed my full moveset, so I don't have the Defog on my Togetic. I also don't have the rapid spin on my Don fan uh, because I was expecting the Raikou, and Don fan was, you know, kind of a way to deal with Raikou, uh, especially if it was Scarf. But he didn't bring Raikou, so he burns me again, and the toxic damage is racking up. Um, so originally for this match, I wanted to, you know, fast forward, cut to, you know, the important parts, but. I decided against it. I wanted to give you the full experience of this match. So he switches out into his Forges. 
I go for the Fire Blast because I'm thinking, again, he's going to make an offensive switch into his fucking Scizor, but no, he goes in the floor just... And that Fire Blast damage tells me he's physically defensive. So, uh, he also has leftovers. Uh, I'm burned. I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go out into my Don Fan. I'm going to get a Brox because either he's a Choice Scarf, Defog, uh, Mew, or he's Defog, Scizor, which I doubt, but it could be. So, maybe to help with the chip damage... If I want to, you know, fucking get up rocks, I go for rocks as he switches out into Alamomola because who doesn't switch an Alamomola? Um, here, I don't have anything to hit this thing with, so I'm going to switch right back out into my Togetic. Um, as he pulls the double and goes into his Grottle because he wants to get up his own rocks. I, I said in the beginning, uh, Trav was like, hey, you don't really have much to deal with Grottle. And I'm like, it's a Grottle. But as you will see, that uh, that's a problem. I go into my Staraptor because the Stealth Rocks are coming from a mile away. Uh, I could go for a U-turn here. I could go for a Brave Bird here. He switches out and goes back into his Godfish as I do go for the U-turn. Um, and that gives me a safe switch into my Rotom because all of a sudden Rotom becomes the most important member to the team. Uh, it can deal with the Alamomola. It can deal with the Scizor. Um, and, you know, I don't have Thunderbolt, so I have to go for Volt Switch, and that only does just a little bit over half to him. Uh, but he switches out. I go for the Volt Switch. He brings in his... Grottle, which is his answer to this, but looking at this Volt Switch damage, guess what, folks? Physically defensive. Um, you know, I get it. I have, I have fucking Dragonite and Staraptor and Megalopony, but really? Uh, so there's no point in saving Staraptor at this point. I assumed at this point in the game. So I just go for the Brave Bird to sack off my Staraptor, and luckily, uh, I get the chunk off, and I die to recoil, and not the Rocky Helmet, so he does not get that kill, uh, nobody gets that kill, it's a, a wasted kill, so I go into Rotom, and I go for the Volt Switch, as he goes back out into his Floridus. So, Floor just has, you know, a, a good little chunk taken out of it. And I go into my Jirachi. Uh, it's shiny because I have Moonblast for the Hydreigon that didn't come, but it was there. Um, so, again, I don't have anything to hit, to hit KO the Alamola, so I was hoping Flash Cannon get the spadef drop but he switches out into his arcanine taking the stealth rock damage gets the intimidate off i go for flash cannon and looking at this damage um you know i must have gotten a high high roll because that is a resistant hit so i was thinking in my mind there's no way shadow ball doesn't kill shadow ball has to kill Shadow Ball does not kill. Um, but I do get the Spadef drop. That had I gotten that, you know, a turn earlier, Arcanine's dead. And he doesn't get to recover up. But even at minus one, Shadow Ball does not kill. And I need to save my Drachi because it's another important member of the team. Um, he can't really do much to my Rotom. So. I switch out Rotom as he morning suns back up. Um, and now, you know, Alamola can come in, Grottle can come in, but I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump in case Floridus wants to come in, because I think, you know, I had a chance to, to hit KO the Floridus if it wanted to come in. But he goes out into his Mew. And after the Stealth Rock damage, after his prior tip chip damage, uh, Hydro Pump is a 2 hit KO. So, you know, 
depending on what he wants to go for here. Hydro Pump, again, is my play. As he goes for the Psychic, and it doesn't do too much. I don't really have any special defense investment, and that's a stab from a Mew. And that's why I wasn't really too concerned about a Choice Scarf Mew, because it's not that strong. Uh, probably could have just ran like a Nasty Plot Vacuum Wave if he wanted to outspeed my, my low bunny. Um, but here he brings in his uh, Grottle, and I decide to Volt Switch out. Uh, Rotom's a little low for my liking. Um, you know, I have to use this to deal with the Scizor now. But I decide to go into my Togetic because I need to roost up and heal Bell as, you know, Grottle isn't going to attack me. Uh, Grottle's not meant to attack. It's meant to be shit and fucking recover and leech seed and stealth rock. Well, but it worked perfectly. Um, so I need Togetic. You know, you could be saying, hey, Travis, you brought Togetic. He's stally and toxic and yeah, I brought one thing that, you know, needed to sponge hits Heal Bell because I, I knew he was going to bring Will-O-Wisp and, and Toxic and stuff like that. So I needed something with Heal Bell. I needed a Cleric. Um, as he switches into his Arcanine again, not a big deal. I don't believe he can 2-hit KO me. Uh, I don't even think Wild Charge is a 2-hit KO. But I am burnt, so now that Wild Charge is kind of a, a factor. But I don't assume him to have Wild Charge, I just assume him to have Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, Will O Wisp, Morning Sun. Um, so, you know, I'm at about 80% health. When I switch in, I'll be at about fucking 55. I'm at 75% health, I'll be at about, you know, 50% health. Um, so I switch out and I go back. And I make the switch out into my Don fan. Uh, I know he can't two hit KO me. Uh, this was also in case he had the wild charge, but I, I wasn't assuming he had wild charge. I just knew I could live two fire bullets from a defensive uh, Arcanine. Um, I knew Rotom couldn't switch in and take a flare blitz stealth rock plus the extreme speed. So Don fan was my, my pretty much my only switch there as he goes into his Alamobola again. Um, I, I make the double switch out, and I go out into my Rotom. And here, you know, Volt Switch is obvious. If I get a crit Volt Switch, that would be cool, take out the Elmamola. But instead, I need the HP. I decide to go for a Pain Split. So he brings in Grottle, which is at full health. Grottle has base 75 HP, Rotom has base 50, so, you know, I'm getting some HP here. Um, I'm at a, a healthy amount, especially after the uh, leftovers. And here, you know, Grottle is just a pain, so I decide to burn it. Uh, he's already showed he's got aromatherapy on the floor, just but maybe, just maybe, I can, you know, make him use up all of his uh, aromatherapy. So he, once again, instead of going for the, the attacking move, decides to go for the leech sleeve. Nice and longevity. Um, he doesn't have any passive recovery like leftovers or, or whatever. So he's seating up. He's burnt. I'm going to Volt Switch out. And I'm going to go back out into my Togetic. Because, you know, I need Togetic to be at a good health. Because it's my only way of dealing with his Elamomola. It's my only way of dealing with his Forges. It's my only way of dealing with his Grottle. So, again, he's not going to attack me. He's going to synthesis. So Togetic is, is looking good here. Uh, I can heal Bell. I can, you know, as he goes out into his Florgis, which can't do much to me, but of course can aromatherapy. Uh, I go for the heal well, um, because again, I don't expect him to make the offensive switch into the Scizor. And now, I can roost up because guess what? This is not an offensive Forges. Has, I'm guessing zero offense investment and I can roost up and take any hit he wants to go for. Um, so I go for the roost and um, 
I'm at a decent amount of health here. But I know with these stealth rocks, I can't keep switching in and out, in and out. He goes for the hidden power ground, which was an offensive play. Bravo. Um, for the Pyroar and the Jirachi, Pyroar apparently did damage to his team, but couldn't two-hit KO the Forges. And, you know, was outsped by the Hydreigon. If it was Scarf, was outsped by the Ra Raikou. If it was, you know, a Raikou. Uh, I go for the Toxic as he goes for the Moon Blast and gets the Spadef drop. Uh, which means my Fire Blast no longer has a chance to kill his Scizor. Um, Fire Blast had a chance to kill the Scizor on the switch in. Uh, after Rocks, it also had a chance to kill a Mega Scizor. So he goes into his only... Offense, uh, his only offensive movement he made was this is over here. I went for another toxic because I was thinking he was going to go for aromatherapy. Um, but he goes into a scissor and he decides to uh, swords dance, which is awesome. I could have lived a bolt punch, but again, my fire blast wasn't a guaranteed kill anymore. Um, so he goes for the swords dance, and I'm expecting I have 12 speed EVs. So even if he spread, sped crept me a little bit, uh, we would eat at, at speed tie. I can take a plus two bolt punch. Uh, so I go for the Will-O-Wisp, but he's super speedy. Outspeeds my Rotom and kills me off, which means now, not only do I have a way to burn and cripple this thing, I don't have a way of dealing with Elmamola. So I need to go into my Jirachi. Uh, based on his speed, this hidden power fire is like an 87% chance to kill. And I don't, and I get knocked off, and I also lose my Drachi. So now I no longer have a way to deal with the Florges. But now he has no way of getting rid of his Stealth Rocks because the Mew's gone and he'd have to defog. And luckily, uh, Lope Bunny can come in and kill with a Fake Out. So, Lope Bunny picks up a kill. Going into this week, Lope Bunny was number one at the top of the Golden Pokeball Award uh, with like eight kills and only one death, I believe. Um, so he brings out his Flare Bud here and gets the Intimidate off. And this whole time, I knew I could live a Flare Blitz. Uh, high Jump Kick is not a kill, but if he would have gone for the uh, Flare Blitz, then he would have died to the Recoil. So I'm going to keep going for the high jump kick. Maybe I'll get a crit. You know, if the gods were smiling on me, I could get a crit. Um, I could, you know, end this freaking bulky arc nine. But he goes for another morning sun. Uh, and at this rate, I can maybe stall him out of morning suns. Like, you know, I'd have to keep hitting these high jump kicks. But there was a chance. And I go for a, another high jump kick. For a, another morning sun. And here's where I was really concerned, where it's like, I, I need to play smarter. I'm going to go for return because it's, I don't want to miss a high jump kick. If I miss a high jump kick, the very slim chance I had of winning uh, went away. Uh, this right here is the climax of the entire match. I go for return. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Oh no, Megalopony is burned. Whatever will I do? Um, whatever will I do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a facade. That's what I had in place of the sub power up punch. Like low bunny, I have facade. And facade kills Arcanine. So don't say I didn't plan for bulky mons. I just didn't plan for full on stall. Uh, from this point on, it's a crapshoot of game. It's boring. It's a waste of time. But I implore you to watch all the way to the end. Please watch all the way to the end. Uh, I go into my Don fan here. And he goes for Wish. At this point, I'm. should have, in quotation marks, saved my Don fan and gone right out into my uh, Togetic. But I didn't. I saved it. 
I wanted to just... I, I'm not going to say I've given up, but my chances of winning this match are over. Unless I get crit after crit after crit with Facade Mega Low Bunny. But I wanted to switch out. Maybe get some crits here to where his Alamola wasn't at full health. Uh, to where a crit, one single crit. I know it's too much to ask from Mega Low Bunny. That's too much to ask. Uh, but I didn't. And now I have to go into my Togetic, which I should have gone in before. Save the differential. Make it a 3-3 tie. So these next, what, nine minutes are just Togetic, Stall, Toxic, Recover, Heal Bell, Wish, Synthesis, Aromatherapy. Um, but, you know, what, what can you do? What can you do? Um, I'm asking you to, to stay to the end because, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that you, you see why I'm upset at this match. Because, um, you know, I, I planned a while for this match. Uh, spoiler alert, from this point on, nothing dies. It ends in a 3-2. So please, just stay until the end. Stay until the end. Suffer with me. Or, or you know what? Don't suffer with me. If you disagree with me, if you think this is uh, white knuckle, hardcore, you know, the epitome of league battle, give me a thumbs down. I'm going to get rid of comments because some people say stall is a skillful, masterful strategy that uh, it took skill to plan this team. Uh, he brought the best team he had a chance to win with. No, he had a Raikou, which did Instrumental damage to my team. He had a Hydreigon. I was expecting him to, you know, want to have a fun league match. Um, I didn't expect him to bring something to waste time. Because, again, he had one thing. Uh, Mew, Choice Griff Mew, kind of, but didn't really do much to anything to my team. Uh, he brought one thing, which, you know, I applaud him. Because the speed EVs in his um, Scizor were cool. But again, I got low balled. I'm not even. I'm not even complaining about the low roll because it happens. That's that's part of the game. That I can live with. If I lose because I I, I low roll on a pin power fire. Um, but what I am going to complain about is just the epic and utter waste of time this match was. This wasn't fun. I didn't enjoy it. If you enjoyed it, and again, you think I'm a whiny little bitch, give me a thumbs down. I want to see the reaction you have to this. Please, I, I'm begging, just show me. Show me how much you enjoyed this match by giving me a thumbs down. Uh, I don't ask for a thumbs up or thumbs down. I'm not that kind of person, but because I don't want to have any, you know, more strained relations with anybody, I don't want to argue with anybody. My opinion is made, I don't think this was a skillful team. Uh, aside from the fantastic Scizor set, which I applaud you for, but I dealt with. Uh, just thumbs down if you enjoyed this match. You know, I, I have, what, five more minutes of this match of sitting through to get through. And um, there, there's one more play that, that gets made, but it won't be for a while. Uh, luckily, though, freaking Togekick here went 8 for 8 on Fire Blasts and got, like, what, four burns on it. So that's cool. That's Serene Grace for you. Um, you know, any other match where when the Fire Blasts would be important, I probably wouldn't connect. But this one I do. Uh, here, I expected him to uh, go for the Aromatherapy again because... Toxic, burn, or toxic damage is more important than the burn damage. He bring, brings in the Grottle. And this is my one last chance. My one last shot. Could I maybe possibly have a chance to pull this one out? There's a, there's a chance. There's a freaking chance. Or at least lower the freaking differential. I go into my low bunny as he goes for the Leech Seed. If, if maybe my calcs were wrong. Maybe I just got a high roll with that Volt Switch. If this isn't a physically defensive Grottle, I can... Just to get KO this thing. 
and it'll be a 2-2 draw, but he would win because fucking Amamola. Um, I'm going to go for the facade. This should do over half. Facade goes off, and it's physically defensive, and he stalls. He synthesis. Again, you know, what, what should he do? Should he let me win? Should he not go for the, the synthesis? No. I'm not saying that's what you should do. I'm just saying... Yay. Awesome. Synthesis. So, 3-2. 3-2. 3-2. every good game of Pokemon should end. In a 3-2 uh, timeout. Every good game of Pokemon should end in a 3-2 timeout. Um, you know, he messaged me about 30, 35 minutes into the match saying, I have a feeling this one's going to go to timer. Why is it going to go to timer? Because you brought four Stallmons. I brought one, so it's five. He goes for Ice Beam, a super effective hit that does zero damage to my Togetic. Um, I, you know, I don't know how much more insight I can give you into this match. I should have brought the Choice Band on my Staraptor. That would have been cool. That really would have been cool. But I didn't. Because looking at the real threats of this team, shame on me, shame, shame, shame. I prepped too hard for the Raikou and the Hydreigon and not for the stall. From this point on, I've learned my lesson. I will prep every each and every week for the stalliest team he can bring, or my opponent can bring, uh, and less so for the actual mons that do damage to a team. Um, but, you know, the, the, the skill he had in, in crafting this magnificent team. I would say, you know, team preparation, especially this team prep, I'm going to use, you know, a NASCAR analogy. I'm not the biggest NASCAR fan, and I'm certain you foreigners aren't either. But this would be, like, his prep, you know, good. He, he planned for my team. Him, you know, sitting at the top of the pole. He's starting the race out in front. But instead of, you know, racing, making plays, playing the game, him and his teammates sat there and went 25 miles an hour the entire race and blocked everybody from trying to make the plays, trying to actually have a fun, competitive game, and just went 25 miles an hour for 500 laps at the motor speedway and just wasting everybody's time. I say wasting time because this game took an hour when you could tell from the team preview what was going to happen. Um, the, what, the three, four hours I prepped on Sunday. Plus, you know, the 30 plus minutes it's going to take to record this match. Plus the hour and whatever minutes it's going to take to edit this match. Plus the time it's going to take to upload it. Plus the time it's going to take for whoever in the right mind decided to sit through this entire match and watch it. It was just a waste of time for a 3-2 to two finish. Again, nothing personal to Eric. He brought a team that dealt with my team. But if you want to play stall and waste time, go, go play on Showdown. Go play on Showdown. If I'm a whiny bitch, show me I'm a whiny bitch. I just don't think this is the right way he should have planned for this team. I don't. If you disagree, you disagree. That's cool. That's the end of the game. Thank you for watching. Again, you disagree with me, you disagree with me. Show me you disagree with me. If you want to watch more, hopefully we don't have any more matches like this. Next week we play against Jordan and the Southampton Steezles. So let's, let's shoot for a win there. And if you stayed all the way to the end, you're out of your mind. But I appreciate you. Uh, thanks for watching, I guess.